a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he was attacked by robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road and when he saw the man he passed by on the other side. So too a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. was a Samaritan. As he travelled, he came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day, he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper. I will reimburse you for any extra expense you may have. As um, may mates in Manchester used to say uh, when we saw each other, how oh, are you all right? Okay, so we're going to do a story today called The Good Samaritan, or The Good Neighbour, it might say, on your workbooks that uh, hopefully you've got. Um, and of course, what we need to think about first of all is uh, who is our neighbour? Um, so it's not just like the bloke who lives next door or the woman who lives that way. It's actually, you know, people that we meet in our lives. So it could be people that we go to school with. It could be, you know, our family, it could be mates. Uh, we have to be kind of good neighbours to everybody. So Jesus sort of told this story to illustrate that. Uh, actually, what happened was, he was being kind of given the third degree, so he was at being asked loads of questions uh, by some really clever people called uh, Pharisees and scribes. And one particular scribe came to him, thought he was sort of showing off, like, and said, Ah, but Jesus, uh, uh, how do I get eternal life? And he said, uh, Well, what you need to do is you need to um, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, with all your heart, or love the Lord your God, he said, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. We heard about that a couple of weeks ago, didn't we? Uh, but what we're going to think about today is the neighbour bit. So also what Jesus said was, you need to love your neighbour as yourself. Now, of course, um, you know, what he meant was that, you know, when you love your neighbour as yourself that you have to kind of treat them in the same way. I mean, you wouldn't uh, start calling yourself and you wouldn't start like, you know, not giving yourself anything to eat or, you know, if you fell over and hurt yourself, you wouldn't just uh, like ignore yourself. So it was kind of like about thinking about people around you in the same way that you thought about yourself. So Jesus told a story to illustrate that, a parable. So this is the parable of the Good Samaritan. It's dead famous, like loads of people know this one. Even people who don't even know that it was Jesus that told it, even people who don't even believe in the Bible will quote this story at you. Okay, so it's called the Good Samaritan. So one day uh, there was this bloke traveling down the road. Now it was pretty deserted, this road. It was like, you know, the main road from Burnley to Accrington, it's like pretty empty in some places, isn't it? But he was walking down that road one day uh, and he got jumped. Some blokes, right, started battering, really laid into him, left him for dead at the side of the road, nicked all his stuff, his watch, his bag, his phone, everything, left him for dead at the side of the road. And he was just like barely breathing, this guy, when they left him, covered in bruises, broken bones, knocked him out, everything. So he's just lying there at the side of the road. Now, uh, along comes like what they call a priest or a Pharisee from the local temple, okay? So the temple was where uh, the people in Jesus' day went to pray to God and sing uh, praises to him and things like that. So one of the priests from the temple walking down this road and he sees this guy lying there and he's like, oh, ignore him and just walk straight past i mean can you believe it he walked straight past and then about 10 minutes later somebody else from the temple uh, one of the people who writes all the sort of messages down like the scribes who understands about god and all that sort of stuff 
he sees the bloke as well. He's coming the other way from Burnley to Accrington, if you like. And he ignores him as well. And then there's this, like, Blackburn bloke, right? Okay, so he's in enemy territory. He's, he's um, from Burnley. He's... He knows he's going to Burnley, it's, it's risky, it's dangerous for him. Um, and he's like, in Jesus' day, these people were called like Samaritans, okay? So Samaritans, the Jewish people, Jesus' kind of, you know, the people that Jesus grew up with, you know, hated the Samaritans. So it was like this sort of Burnley Blackburn thing, they hated each other, you know? So they, they what happened was, in fact, it was worse than Burnley Blackburn, but, but that's the size of the point. So what happened was, this Burnley bloke, uh, sorry, this Blackburn bloke comes across this guy who's from Burnley uh, and he's uh, it's like, wait, mate, mate, what's wrong, what's wrong? And he, he goes to sort of like help him. So he picks him up and he puts him on the back of his, um, or he puts him in the in the back of his car, but in Jesus' day it was like a donkey, but not many people travel around in, on donkeys nowadays. I don't know if you've ever seen anybody walking around. Maybe in some parts of Ozzle Twistle they still do, but that's besides the point. But anyway, so he puts him in the back of the car and he says, I'll sort you out, mate. So he takes him to this, like, uh, inn and he says to the innkeeper, uh, listen, mate, I've just found him at the side of the road. He's in a bad way. He's been battered. He's been beaten up. They've nicked all this stuff. Um, will you look after him for a couple of days? I've just got to go on a journey, but I'll come back. He says, if there's... If there's anything that he needs, make sure he's sorted out, okay? Look after him and, you know, I'll pay for it. So he gives him a load of money, the innkeeper a load of money. He says, that's the money that he needs, uh, to, that you need to look after him, to make it, to feed him, pay for his bed for the night or the, however many nights it is and make sure he gets looked after, you know, somebody to sort of bandage him up, tend his wounds and all that. So the bloke... You know recovers he gets better so jesus said you know that's an example of somebody being neighborly somebody who you know he was his sworn enemy you know he was a he was a samaritan or he was like a burnley bloke a blackburn bloke in burnley you know he was a sworn enemy and he looked after him he cared for him to the extent that he paid for him to be cared for and made better and all his meals and his board and bedding and everything paid for and that's what Jesus said. He said, you know, that if you believe in me, then, you know, you will have uh, this willingness to want to help other people. So that meant that, you know, the love that you have or the love that Jesus had for us is reflected in the way that we love others. OK, so Jesus, you know, forgives us our sins, um, loves us with a uh, love beyond our understanding and he cares for us okay so whether we, whether or not we can sort of see that physically see it or not you know we know because the bible tells us that jesus loves us and cares for us more than anything and what he says is you know if you believe in me i want you to do the same things okay so that's what he meant by being a good neighbor